Not only with the audience carried away, my notes were carried away as well. Sorry about Trafford, that. Trafford Town. So you had to train very hard in this play called Trafford Town. We so. only had two weeks to rehearse in, so that, that gave us natural adrenaline to get the show ready for the public in time. But, I mean, physically you had to train jolly Yes, hard. I did a lot of judo, a lot of um, traditional wrestling, a lot of weightlifting. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> which I'm stuck with now. I have to talk for the rest for the rest of your life. There you are wrestling with a with a. Oh, Neil McCall. That's he right. played my husband. He was wonderful. I mean, he had <laughs> he could fight with his mouth, whereas I fought with my fist. Was uh, was he still your husband at the end of the show? No, not at all. No, I but mean... the way you behaved, I'm not, I'm not at all surprised. In <laughs> but that. he was a brilliant. Person it's a, well, it's the it? story of a of a what a battered baby that. Be... It's about a battered baby brought up in the north with the traditions of being a woman. Um, the fact that, that women are, are taught to take the, the step behind and not want to work and right. only want to get mar married and have babies. Within the play, Tansy gets married um, to a, a husband that's unfaithful to her. Mm -hmm. um, so to prove her, her self, her pride and everything, she takes up wrestling and in a heated argument with her husband says, right, I'll take you on. And she takes him on. It's a 20 minute fight and she ends up KOing him. Right, now you, you now landed with these rock-hard things for the rest of your life. Because if, you, <laughs> if you let them go, they're all... <laughs> <laughs> the, the flab will fall down and you'll have very big, big fat hands, won't you? Well, I, I, I find what's very healthy is I, I do 50 press-ups a morning. Yeah. And if I still got it in me, I'll do 50 before I go to bed. Were you ever fat? Very. When I was a kid, I was incredibly what fat. What did you look like? Describe yourself as I looked like an ape. Did you? Um, a real ape. I had very long black hair that was very, very bushy, yeah. and I looked like a cave woman. And I thought like this, so I had an exceptionally bad lift. And I, I walked with a wobble, and I was like everybody's failure. Right. So I had a lot to, to fight. I think with. your lift came in quite youthful uh, <laughs> to uh, a programme called Kick Up the Eighties. <laughs> Did you, did you see that? I deliberately avoided it, because I like Tracy Ullman. Well, I thought, well, that, I saw it, I'll kill her. In that, <laughs> uh, I hope we have a little piece of this, because in that uh, programme called Kick of It, there is Tracy Ullman actually imitating your lift. <laughs> <laughs> right then, let's do our first line. Right, yes. And right. listening, and yes. It's a mystery. Oh, it's a mystery. <laughs> now you. It's a mystery, oh, it's a mystery. <laughs> that soon, but don't spit. Sorry. <laughs> don't spit. Throw that spit over the heads of the audience. Yes. Yeah. Let's do your second line, which okay. is... A shot in the dark. A <laughs> big question mark. Okay. Now you. A shot in the dark. The big question mark. <laughs> That's Miriam Margulies uh, and Tracy Ullman doing a, a, it's a very toy, good, a toy wheel cut. Are you flattered or annoyed by that? Kind of uh, I'm told by my father I should be flattered, but uh, in the early days I, I just was genuinely insecure about it. And cheesed off a bit. Mm, but I, I'm not that insecure now, I don't is, think. Is there a core of steel inside this uh, tough lady? I hope not. Next tough exterior. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Not at the moment. I mean, I mean, of, of a resolution and of ambition and of oh ground God, and I'm energy. still ambitious. I'll yeah. always be ambitious. Yeah. Uh, I, there's people, so many people I want to work with. I'm very lucky with who I've worked with up to now. But yeah. I've got ambitions to work with people like Spielberg. He might let me be the monster in his next movie. I oh. <laughs> well, if he doesn't, you can KO him with one. <laughs> get hold of him, throw him over. Now you're going to sing us a song. A it's song called, that you've written? Yes, it's our latest single. It's called The Vow, and I wrote it with um, my lead guitarist, Joel. What is its subject? Its subject matter is... We all know our mistakes, but we never know how to correct them. Right. And love it can be so close to destructiveness. And I think within what the world's going through now, and 2,000 years ago, Jesus supposed to, was supposed to have come down and told us, you know, get your act together, and we haven't. Right. And the vow is saying, I love you, I love you, but I could hurt to protect you, okay. which is the contradiction. OK, the vow, Toy Wilcox.
Thanks, thanks, thanks.